Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Taking Advantage of Divine Seasons series is dreams. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 41 verses 25 to 27. Then Joseph said to Pharaoh, the dreams of Pharaoh are one and the same. God has revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good cows are seven years and the seven good heads of grain are seven years. It is one and the same dream. The seven lean, ugly cows that came up afterward are seven years, and so are the seven worthless heads of grain scorched by the east wind. They are seven years of famine. The last day, we spoke about signs as a way of God announcing seasons. Today, I would like to speak about another method of announcement called dreams. There is usually a mixed reaction that believers have towards dreams. Some believe in the potential dreams have to convey spiritual messages while others label it as a method that should not be trusted. My stance is this. There are many times in the Bible, both in the Old and the New Testament, where God communicated with people through dreams. Our anchor scripture is one where God announced the sequence of arrival of two very vital seasons in the life of a nation through dreams. In my own life, I have been privileged enough to discern new seasons by dreams that I had. On the authority of the Bible, God can lead through dreams. What I will say about dreams is this. The level of accuracy in your dreams will oftentimes be proportionate to the level of consecration that you have. So if you know that you live your life on your own terms, you hardly spend time in prayer and the word, then please forget about refined and accurate dreams and take whatever you see with a pinch of salt. But if you have given yourself to prayer and the study of the word with consecration, you can discern seasons through the patterns of your dreams. Oftentimes, you will need to subject yourself to more prayers to know the actual meaning of a dream or to know what you are to do about what you have seen. But know that God can and does use dreams to bring announcements about seasons. Note, in our anchor scripture, God only revealed the sequence of seasons. The person to whom the seasons were revealed even had no idea what the dreams meant, nor what was to be done about the revelation. And this is the big thing about seasons. For Pharaoh to benefit from the announcement, he needed to connect to someone who was connected to God. I have watched people interpret accurate dreams inaccurately, consequently missing out on the things they should have enjoyed. With dreams, you must remain connected to the one from whom the dream came in the first place. I have had dreams whose interpretations were revealed to me two years after having the initial dreams. Today though, what I do want to leave with you is this, that God can and often does tell about seasons using dreams. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Lord, we ask that by the blood, you will sanctify our dream lives and give us the grace to discern the meaning of the messages you bring our way. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.